Hi guys, and welcome back to Rich Reviews. Okay guys, so now we've we've trained most of, um, we've, we've done most of the exercises for biceps, we're now going to do triceps, which is the antagonistic muscle group to biceps, and biceps is the antagonistic muscle group to triceps. Antagonistic, tricep, tricep contracts when you've got your biceps fully lengthened. Triceps contract when you've got your biceps fully, fully shortened. Okay, so triceps fully lengthened, biceps fully contracted, opposing muscle groups. Warm up exercise, on triceps, just gonna do overhead individual extensions like this. Now my mobility in my shoulders is really poor. So, and that's through years and years of exercise and damages to my shoulders. As I say, um, rotator cuff tears, etc. So you'll see me be very poor in my shoulder flexibility. So let me just show you what I'm doing there. The tricep extension I'm lengthening the bice the tricep there and I'm shortening it there this is just to warm up my triceps this is a lightweight four kilograms so just do a few I'm not counting anything I'm just going to what feels about right to warm my triceps up so I should really be more upright and my shoulder should be further behind my back but this is how I have to do them because of my damaged shoulders. Okay, so straight away, we're gonna go into 16 kilograms lying triceps, in effect French press. So where you'd not, you could do it with a barbell. If you do it with dumbbells, then your, your wrists are actually in more, in more of a natural position uh, to then extend your triceps. So you'll see me lying on the floor and doing tricep extensions using dumbbells. So um, I'm gonna go down the floor, you're not gonna see much of my head, uh, but I'm gonna be talking you through it as I do it. Hopefully you'll be able to see me from the exercise now. 16 kilograms, I down on the floor. And okay, so I'll talk to you from here. It's actually a good position to talk to you from. And I'll bring my drink and phone down here so I can do the exercise from the floor. So on the legs, 16 kilogram dumbbells. Okay, so here we go. Slowly down, extend up and contract. Slowly down, extend up and contract. I'm not resting the dumbbells at the bottom, by the way, they're just touching. You see there that my right arm is actually a little bit weaker here, um, which shouldn't really be the case. I'm actually right-handed, so my right arm should be stronger, but it's because my, my shoulder is so badly damaged. But you should see from that angle, hopefully, that when I'm behind my head, I haven't got my arms directly above my body because when I extend, then I'll be able to rest. I've got my arms slightly behind me so that every single part of that movement, even when I'm locked out, I'm still holding the dumbbell on my triceps. It's still working the triceps. So here we go. Next set. All right, rest a little bit. Rest pause, this is called. Top a little one more rep out. Top it back. Oh. So I'm sorry if this looks pretty raw and not so flash and so well manicured. Oh. 
it is what it is. <laughs> if I'm squinting by the way, it's because I'm looking at the time on my on my chronograph on my phone without my glasses on. Also notice, notice the technique I'm using. I'm putting the dumbbells on the top of my quad just below my knees. And as I rock back, because my right arm, my right shoulder is really badly damaged, I can, my left arm isn't, isn't so badly damaged as my right, my left shoulder isn't so badly damaged as my right shoulder. So I've got better range of movement. So with here, I'll start with an extended arm. Um, still see the, the technique's a bit different to how I do on each arm, but that's because I'm protecting my shoulder. Slight rest pause at the end there, so I could get that last rep in to just work the muscle fibers that little bit more, a little bit harder to push past, a little bit past failure. All the reps you're doing up to the point of failure, in effect, are warm up reps. You're not growing muscle from those repetitions. You're warming up the muscle, you're getting the muscle to the point of failure, so then you can go to failure and slightly beyond if you do a little bit of cheating which helps you get a little bit past beyond as long as you're still engaging the muscle fiber to work as hard as it possibly can during that point of failure so people who are stopping before failure when they're training just start my stopwatch again people who are stopping before failure because they don't want the uncomfortableness of it they don't want the pain they don't want to have to work that hard they're never going to grow muscle not going to happen now what I should say as a caveat if you haven't trained before and you start throwing or you start moving weights around and start weight training irrespective of your form you will grow muscle because your body's in a state of shock it's never exercised with dumbbells no sorry it's never exercised with weights before it's never had progressive overload in any way shape or form so it will grow but you and you'll stagnate circa six months to a year you'll stagnate you'll start um, reducing seeing gains um, and you'll be wondering why you haven't got gains and that's at that point then when people have to start thinking okay so why aren't I growing muscle now and of course the reason will be it's because they're not doing um, they're not exercising properly and they're not eating properly so then they either start learning how to eat properly or they give up okay last set with this weight Maybe I have to squeeze out another set with this weight if I can. Obviously I want to use a heavy weight as possible continuing going forward, but I want to keep the range of movement as good as possible as well. I'll reduce that next set down. I'll do another set on this. So I'm going to five sets on this weight because I feel I can do another set, um, which will be better to do on this weight. And I'll do, I'll probably do around six reps, but don't get the reps in your mind. It's where you're, when it's going to failure, that's the important thing. If you're going past 10 to 12 reps in your set and you're not going to failure, increase the weight, it should be using a heavier weight. I should also say as well that people react to different types of training differently as well. When I train chest, I do very high volume. So you're talking about, I'll do about 300 reps when I'm training chest in around 40 minutes. And I do high volume because that's what my body best reacts to, um, to high volume. So my body will be better, um, better reacting to um, metabolic stress type of training for chest. Um, than it will be for purely heavy weights. Plus, because my shoulder's so bad, it's better to use lighter weights and, he and more reps. Okay, we're about there again. So, uh, last set on this, on this weight. Uh, 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 
not much grace involved in some of this, I can tell you. <laughs> it is what it is. Right, so, twist the weight in. Reduce the dumbbells down to 12. And, wait for us to get back round again to the minutes rest. You'll see how innovative the approach is to my training by how I do certain exercise like tricep dips, etc. Um, reverse tricep dips, that is, um, without all the equipment. You do, you'll see what I use to, to achieve that. Again, you do what you've got to do. You don't need flash equipment. You just need to be able to do the same exercise that you could with that flash equipment. And you'd be surprised what you can achieve, what you can get away with without thousands of pounds worth of equipment. Yeah, the dumbbells were quite expensive, but you have to have a progressive overload. So you have to have dumbbells of some sort. While I was waiting for these dumbbells to arrive, by the way, I was using Tesco bags filled with logs. And that was working. Yeah, it wasn't putting me under enough progressive overload, but it was working for the first four to five months. I was using Tesco, Tesco bags full of logs to do my curling. Again, you do what you've got to do. No excuses. You'll see my, my range of movement a lot better now and a lot more straight. What you can do as well is move the dumbbells in at a different angle to make the exercise harder because obviously you're going deeper then. I'm really contracting really, really, really hard at the end as I'm going up and extending the tricep. I'm really contracting hard at the end as well. You've got to make sure you're lengthening the muscle group you're exercising and fully contract it. None of these half reps. When you see these people doing these half, half reps, especially when you're doing uh, chest, chest training, um, <laughs> you realize what I'm doing there with the half reps. So obviously flat on the bench doing half reps. When they're not extending their arms fully up, yeah, you shouldn't hammer the shoulders. Yeah, sorry, the, the elbows, sure, for sure. But if you're not, the actual chest contracts fully from this range of movement fully across the body. See, the actual exercise that engages more of the chest is flies, is dumbbell flies, not press. Press engages your lats, your triceps, your front delts and your rear delts, and your chest towards the top part. If you move your arm from there up, you'll see your chest start to engage around there and then fully contract as you pull your arm across. So these people are doing this, well, and they're gaining muscle, Guess what they're taking? I've got no problem with, um, by the way, with people taking steroids, no problem whatsoever. I know it sounds like I'm having a, doing a bit of bashing on people taking steroids. I'm not. It's up to them and, and you have to take steroids if you're competing in, um, on the stage because everybody else is doing it so you've got to take steroids otherwise you'll get beaten easily. Um, what I don't like is people who take steroids and they make out as though they're clean and that they're training clean and they've got their physique clean when it's very, very obvious. I can tell somebody's on steroids very, very quickly. Very easy to tell. I'm not gonna tell you how, but it's very easy to tell. <laughs> I wonder how many of you are thinking, sod that. I finish off with a little bit of a circuit at the end. It's not about the weight, it's what you do with it. And it's about how that is on your muscle fibers. The, you know, if you can use, the, the, the goal is to use as light a weight as possible to do the most damage to muscle fibers, not the heaviest, because the heaviest does the most damage to joints. So that's, Line tricep extensions back to the eights again. With the tricep extension. It's an exercise you would have seen on the uh, oh, pain and gain film. Mark Wahlberg. It's actually in one scene, I believe, he's uh, making a, a protein shake and he's doing tricep extensions, uh, bilateral 
the single arm in other words, a tricep extension with a dumbbell while he's drinking his shake. Well, nobody uses that, that exercise to, to grow muscle. You use it as a finisher when you've already gone to failure, but you use things like close grip or French press or skull crushes, which is what I was just doing, to grow muscle. Eight kilograms, tricep extension. Each arm, obviously. Don't need as long a break between these. I just give myself 30 seconds because obviously the right arm's been rested while I was in the left arm. You can flick from one side to the other very quickly um, and not have a period of break in between. But um, I need the I need the break. I'm quite exhausted, quite uh, not exhausted, but uh, fatigued is the word. <laughs> Again, when you start getting tired, fatigue, you start losing your vocabulary. <laughs> so that'll do me 30 seconds. So let's kick it in again. I'll only do three sets of these. I'll shake back. The, by the way, the dumbbell may, may seem like it's not moving at the end, but believe you me, there's a lot of tension on the triceps. So there's a lot of time under tension and I'm keeping the tension there so I'm trying I'm always trying to push the dumbbell up now what we're going to do on this finishing circuit is we're going to do three exercises now just going to make sure that you can See what I need you to see. Excuse me if you can't see my head. Now then, so this is my reverse tricep dip. Yep, it's just a socket set. <laughs> Got to be careful, this is rested against this toolbox here. And you'll see when I start doing the exercise what I'm doing here. Now what I'm going to do is I'll start off doing some dumbbell curls. Now you've already seen the dumbbell curls so you see me doing them out of shot here so that I can keep you focused on this. And then I'll do some tricep kickbacks. So the exercise is a tricep, and this is gonna be no rest in between. So this is gonna be a triple set, and then I'll have a minute's rest in between sets. It'll be dumbbell curls, reverse tricep dip, then it'll be tricep kickbacks with the dumbbells. All right, so let's go. Lightweight on the dumbbell curls. So, Lightweight, relatively speaking, so 12s, 12 kilogram dumbbells. Move this weight ready for me doing the kickbacks in four kilograms. Take my glasses off, tricep dips. Set kicks backs. <laughs> Minutes break, and then we continue. You'll notice the the socket set moving before and after a little bit. You've got to be careful. Um, but it, it does exactly the same thing as though it were a bench. As long as you're doing a range of movement, range of movement is the same, then it's the same exercise. You don't have to have a flash bench. Having a flash bench doesn't mean that uh, that's what creates the muscle. It's doing the exercise with the correct range of movement, with the correct load and metabolic stress involved. I'm not going to be able to do many tricep dips, reverse dips. I'm fatigued. Okay guys, so I ran out of disc storage there. So um, I only had one more set to do anyway. So 
hopefully you enjoyed this type of content um, it's a bit raw and it's a bit brutal um, but you know as I said it lets you know exactly what you need to do to actually as a from a training point of view um, to break down muscle and to actually build a physique so let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you like this if you like this content um, plenty more content to come please share the video to all your friends who can help grow the channel there's the cart there's the dumbbells take care see you in the next video guys